Hello, I'm Christoph Conrad, a technical evangelist with Adobe. In this video, I will show you a simple mobile trader desktop application that I will run on an Android tablet and then on the BlackBerry Playbook. So I'm in Flash Builder, which is a plugin on top of Eclipse where the application was built, and I will go ahead and run that application. So Initially, the application will run on my Samsung Galaxy Tab, and you see at the bottom right of the screen here that the application is being compiled, packaged, and then deployed uh, to my tablet. So here is the application. So the first view displays a list of your assets and the progress that you have made over time, and then you have a chart showing some historical data at the bottom of the screen, and you can actually navigate through the historical data. You can zoom in and zoom out. And then the second uh, view is actually a real-time watch list. So we are looking at some stocks uh, being updated in real time. You can look at your watch list, select the stock, and then you have a real-time chart showing uh, the updates in real time. I can then go back and uh, select another stock and look at the updates uh, for that stock. And the last view is simply a list of alerts that have been sent to you. So what I will do now is actually minimize my webcam viewer here and then uh, change the runtime configuration. And instead of uh, targeting an Android device, I will now target uh, the BlackBerry Playbook. I don't have an actual Playbook device, but I will run the application in the Playbook uh, emulator that's part of the SDK. So I'll uh, run the application. What I'll do now is actually bring my um, emulator, which is essentially a VMware image. The workflow is still exactly the same. Flash Builder is uh, compiling, packaging, and then deploying the application uh, to the Playbook in this case. And so in just a second, here we go, we have the application being loaded. Uh, on the playbook. So it's the exact same application with your uh, list of assets. I still have the historical data at the bottom and I can uh, navigate uh, through the data on that chart. I can look at my real-time watch list, select a stock, see the chart uh, being updated in real time, go back, select another stock, and look at the updates for this specific stock, and then finally uh, look at the alerts that were sent to me. So this is again the same application built with the same tool, the exact same workflow deployed to different devices, an Android tablet and a BlackBerry Playbook. 